Okay guys, here we go. Um, we managed to get all the tractor parts painted. Now this fellow, like I've seen, he brought this tractor, uh, it's a 1949, um, oh god, now I forget the name of it, it's over there, Co Cockshut tractor, and uh, he brought it over to, he brought the pieces over to me, he, he saw my videos and he came all the way from Linden, Washington, like I say, it's maybe an hour drive up from, from Linden across the border to come to me, total drive for him from his house to my house. Anyway, he, he had painted these, he wasn't happy at the paint job, they were full of orange peel, uh, there were a couple videos back, you've probably seen it. Um, well, you see, it's hard to tell in the video, but we painted them up. I don't know if they look any better to you or not. I mean, they're definitely not full of orange peel now. He wanted them super shiny, like a car, and that's what we gave him. He did ask us to not do any body work, do not fill any scratches or dents or anything. Just leave them alone, he said. He said, just sand them, paint them. So that's exactly what we did. Um, he says, he basically said, if you get too carried away on this stuff, you make it look too good. It doesn't look, it doesn't look the part, doesn't look original. And uh, there, there are guys out there that are like that. I've done a few model A's for guys, not hot rods, but stock model A's. And they always say to me, even the guys that we're painting them black for, they say, hey, I don't want you to get it perfect. And I'm like, well, it's only going to take a little extra. Why not? And they're like, because they were never perfect new. We don't mind the odd little ripple, the odd little ding. Leave it. So, you know what? You always do what the customer asks. Just make sure you get them to sign off on it. And everything will be fine. So... There we go. Hopefully he's going to be happy with that. I don't think you can get it much shinier than what we got it here. Now this is just a single stage paint. This is not base coat, clear coat. So that is what's going on with our tractor parts. So now we'll take you outside here and we'll show you what's going hey guys, on outside. So here's what we got going on outside. Now normally I wouldn't leave customer stuff outside when we're building it like this, but we right now are on a heat, a little bit, little bit of a heat wave thing going on here. It's like 28, 29 and we've got this going on. It was all last week and we got two more weeks of this weather. So this is Colby's frame and uh, this is one I sprayed with just a trim clad. Anyway, you can see we're mounting the control arms on. Got all the new ball joints put in place. Um, you know, Kobe wanted a little bit of contrast, so I did his mounts a, a shiny black. Everything else is just a satin black. The diff, the diff is all completely rebuilt, as you can see back here, with all new axles in it. We changed the axles because the disc brake, disc truck was a six bolt truck, and it's going to go to a five on five now because of the disc brakes. So we changed the axles to a five on five. So anybody that's got a 69 and down pickup, uh, say 67 to 69, I know for sure, or 70, I should say 70, sorry, 1970 through 67 to 70, God, I'm confused here, six bolt trucks, they take the axles from a 71 to a 72, you can put those axles in there, and then of course you just order a set of drums for a 71, 72 Chev pickup. So there's a handy little tip for you there. Now his differential, we rebuilt it all. He's got 307 for gears in the back. Um, that's a good gear for him. He wants to go and take some trips of his wife. And, uh, you know, he wants to cruise around town. And uh, it, it'll, it'll be good. It'll, it'll, it'll give, you know, be good enough for him for gas mileage and all that. And, and he'll still be able to light the tires up off the line. I mean, God, he's, he's putting a 400 horse 350 motor in it now. That's what we got all done up for him. So that's what's going on there. And if you see in the background... You've seen the jet skis that were here before. Well, this is another two jet skis. And uh, they all look alike because it's a rental place. So anyone that's up here at Cultus Lake, if you're out here in BC, Chilliwack, BC, go up to Cultus Lake. There you go. There's the name right there. They call themselves Beach Boy um, Leisure Rentals. Go see Steve up there. He's an awesome guy. He rents boats. Yeah, I think he's got like five or six boats. He's got 12 or 14 jet skis. And uh, if you want to have a good time, there you go. Saves you the grief of having the drag at home. You go up there, you rent it for a few hours, have your fun, go back to your uh, go back to your vehicle or your cabin or wherever you're staying up there, drink some cold ones, and uh, don't have to worry about towing the suckers home, right? You just rented them. So anyway, these are another two. He's brought them in, and we got repairs on them. Actually, you can see on the one here, I'll show you. This is what happens. He rents these things out, and this is what people do. Look at this. They just... Uh, they bang into one another. 
That's exactly what happens. So we gotta do some repairs there, and on the other one, the front nose is busted. So, uh, so it looks like it looks like Steve is very happy of what we've done so far in the last two. So it looks like we're into the uh, looks like we're into repairing jet skis for the summer, and that's okay. We do whatever it takes. Now, if you remember a moment ago, I showed you the tractor parts. Well, that fella came and picked up the tractor parts, Ken, and look what he dropped off now. He dropped the wheels off to me. Look at the size of that bloody wheel. I can't even remember what size he said this wheel was. I'm sure, and you know, I probably get a tape measure out and measure it, but I'm too damn lazy right now. Anyway, he brought the wheels again. This is something he painted them. Um, it's hard to tell now because he started sanding them, but he painted the wheels. They came out real orange peely. He wasn't happy. So uh, he took the other parts back and uh, he loved them and he said, hey, can you do the wheels for me now? So it looks like we're doing the wheels and it looks like we got a couple side panels down here too. Now he sanded them, but we're going to have to re-sand them a bit because if you look, I don't know if you can see that carefully, but do you see all these shiny areas? I mean, you see how it's shiny? He's kind of scuffed it along here where it's duller and here it's all shiny. In between here, it's all shiny. Well, you can't put paint over shiny. It has to be scuffed. It has to stick. It has to adhere to it. So he thought he'd done a good job, but I told him, I said, well, no, you know, there's still a couple hours to be spent there sanding. So we're going to get on that. We're going to get those sanded up and get those painted up. So that's it. That's about all I got to show you today, guys. That's what's going on here. So um, again, thank all my subscribers out there. Thank you very much. Um, signage. Oh, I want to show you guys something. You're going to love this. You are going to love this. Okay. First of all, you guys do remember up above here. There we go. You can see that. I don't know. The sun's in my eyes, so I sure in the fuck can't see it. But I got some quarter panels up there with some old caddies. And I've had them all lettered up. And that's kind of what you see when you come in. Well, look what else I got going on here. Is that not beautiful or what? I just love that. That is actually an old custom sign from back in the day. And uh, I took a photo of it and had it recreated. And it's all painted freehand with a brush. All done. And is that ever awesome or what? It's like the guy's riding in a car. That's me. Look at me, I got my hair slicked back, I'm hanging onto wheel, I got a big smile on my face, I must be doing 100 miles an hour, listen to my rock and roll music, things are happening for me there in that picture, if only that's the way it was in real life. But anyway, <laughs> there you go, so we are doing, if you keep an eye on our website, we're going to have signage, we're doing signage now, I'll show you also on my truck, this is the old school freehand painted signage, there you go, right there which this has been on my truck for quite a while. But, for anybody out there, for anybody whatsoever, that is, uh, that's got an old sign like that, that you see up top there, and they want to have it recreated, like you've got a photo of it, I should say, and you want to recreate it, or um, you want your vehicle, if you're, if you're local, I guess to me, you want your vehicle, you want it to be done all freehand, by hand. Um, the paint can be done with a brush, and it can be left like really, really nice. Or, or you can leave it so it's got the brush strokes showing through it. If you're looking for that, you keep an eye out on our website. We're going to have more pictures. We are now into signage. Yes. Yes. We, 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 we've, uh, we've got Bones here doing signage for us on call. And uh, that's it. We'll, 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 we'll take care of all your needs there. So I just wanted to, I wanted to throw a big shout out about that stuff. Look for it on our, on our, um, on our channel, um, oldtimegarage.ca. We'll get some photos up as quick as possible. And again, that's it, guys. So, hey, thanks a lot. And uh, remember, it's always a good time at Old Time. We'll see you next time.